So Keffles is back to her old shenanigans. I really thought that she was going to just mellow out and not get into any more drama, but I was completely wrong. I mean, she said herself that she wasn't going to get into any drama, but I guess she just changed her opinion. She was like, ah, people pay attention to me more when I am in drama, so why not get into more of it? It'll give me more attention, thereby getting me more views, and that gives me more money, so who cares? Her most recent beef has been with a website a forum called kiwi farms she's actually changed her twitter to drop keffels hashtag drop kiwi farms basically the whole drop kiwi farms sort of campaign is based around a bunch of people wanting cloudfair the parent company of kiwi farms to drop kiwi farm even though it's like just a website so if people are willing to dox you they're just gonna not use the forum to talk about it they'll just still dock you they'll still get your information it's really weird and if you spend all this time coming after these people that are already willing to almost get killed it's a weird weird idea uh, honestly she's just incurring more more wrath like she's in the right to not want these people to come after her but the way she's going about it is just so weird keffles has been gloating a ton on twitter to almost just an insane degree it's actually pretty uh, interesting to look at anyway let's just take a look at a couple of them kiwi farms is back up and they are basically riding the site's obituary in real time if keffles somehow succeeds in getting rid of kiwi farms this would mean i don't have anywhere else in the internet to go my twitter account was already suspended because of Keffles. My Reddit account was suspended multiple times. All this because we don't give into the T slurs delusional ideology. Basically, the T slurs granny with a T. I don't understand how that's bad. I don't understand the history behind it, but I'm just not gonna say it because I just prefer to be respectful. So they're melting down so much. If they lose the site, they have nothing left in their miserable life. Pathetic. Kiwi Farms isn't the only place to go, but it's one of the last places I feel I can share my opinion. Even if everyone laughs at me or negrates me, at least I'm able to share my thoughts without worrying about wrong things. I could never be the laughing stock of this place and never have to worry about losing my account for going against the norm. People like Lucas want that freedom taken away because they can't handle people having a place to say what they want to say. Good. Hashtag drop Kiwi Farms. Kiwi Farms is the only place that brings joys to my life. Lucas and his mom, Mob, are trying to take away my free freedom of speech. This is not just. This is not right. This is my only community. Kiwis are my only only friend. You can't take that away from me. I'm begging you, Lucas. Have mercy. If you keep Kiwi Farms trending on Twitter for two more days, you'll be ruining my life. I feel like it's a crappy move to go like, oh, it's good that your only friends are online and I'm going to take that away from you. Good. Good. You shouldn't be on this platform because I don't think that you should be on this platform. Okay, this platform shouldn't exist because I don't think it should exist because a couple people did something wrong. Everyone should lose their platform. It's just so ridiculous. Like, this is actual... 1984 type of practices okay authoritarian practices because i don't want to hear this i don't want anybody to think this all right this entire passage of thinking has to disappear i can't defeat it through superior logic or talking about why you're wrong i have to get rid of you there's no way that i can just talk this out and be like hey you're wrong because of this now obviously people who are gonna dox her are just wrong and i i I think that Lucas is uh, Keffel's dead name, so that's weird. I'm not 100% sure, but it's just so weird to just be so dedicated to try and take away somebody else's like platform that they enjoy just because a couple of people are doing bad stuff. Like the doxers are gonna do what the doxers are gonna do, whether they're on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, anywhere. If they can do it on Kiwi Farm, they can do it on Twitter, they can do it on YouTube, they can they can just do it anywhere. All you're doing is just making them angry it's like you went up behind a dog and kicked it in the nuts and then just expected nothing to happen and then when something did happen you just went well, but i kicked it in the nuts i thought it was going to stop because i kicked it in the nuts it's ridiculous now we had these uh interesting couple of tweets from these two fans of keffels i would guess they said i don't have anywhere else on the internet to go good they've nearly got the point so these people, because they don't agree with somebody else's ideology and because they don't like the person, they think that they should just not have internet access, right? Or they shouldn't be able to ha have anywhere on the internet that they can discuss their ideas. It's so weird. And I think those types of ideas that they're probably talking about are harmful. I think that they've naming 
cat fools is wrong but we should talk about it we shouldn't just be like you're wrong off the internet bye like what's the point in that you're not helping anybody because that person's gonna still live their life normally in their real life so you aren't help helping trans people in the real life you're just helping them not see a tweet i i don't see how how it's really just performative activism and i think that's really what Kevles does honestly that's pretty much all she is really she she almost comes off as if she's like thinks that she's changing the world with these ratios like like she's kira or something so it's genuinely like really weird to be that focused in on yourself that you don't realize that like a not that many people care about you and b even if a ton of people cared about you a lot of them don't like you and the way that you've gone about things makes it hard for people to want to that it makes it hard for people to listen to you basically because of how you are and how you've acted now while the, all this was going on kelf just decided to go off after some random black trans person and they said this is Dreaded J's alt account. It's a sock puppet designed to defame me. I, I genuinely want to know what the point of this tweet was because A, you have no proof. And we're going to get to that in a minute. But B, why why even post this? Y you want people to go after her, right? That, that's it, okay? The only reason you're adding her, the only reason that you're claiming that it's a sock puppet designed to defame you is because you want people to go after Dreaded J, okay? And my first point, uh, I wanted to get the whole going after thing taken away first, okay? But she's gotten accused of so much stuff without proof, right? And then she's accusing somebody else of something without proof, okay? If, if we went by her logic, she's a groomer, a thief. She's, well, yeah, that pretty much covers it because because of the whole Catboy Ranch uh, screenshots, the whole stealing from the Communist Party thing, the whole, like, just a ton of stuff, really. It's just, I don't know why she's accusing people. Oh, my goodness. Like, she knows, she knows that there's no good reason for her to be going after people. Like, it just leads to her going through negative stuff. But I, I, it brings her money, I guess. I, that's really the only logical point at this, at this juncture. I mean, all this stuff has brought her so much media attention. I mean, you look up Keffels and there's a bunch of like news channel YouTube videos covering her now when like a month ago it was just youtubers covering her commentary youtubers like me now keffels got called out and she got dragged and it's really interesting to see people turn on keffels which is something that i did not see coming that was a big big plot twist for me keffels is a prime example of how evil white queers can be that's that's a wild sentence um but She's blocking anyone that asks for proof of her claims that a black trans woman has a Kiwi Farms account and instead is spreading lies that can quite easily get Jay killed. I've already seen your Kiwi Farms account and know you are active on the site and use it to harass trans people into locking and deactivating their accounts. No one should trust you. Everyone should actively avoid you because you are a terrible human being. Whites are really calling a black woman a nazi and directing harassment at her for someone so traumatized by dogpiling plus harassment kevil sure loves doing it herself jay has already been doxxed and outed by people harassing her but ofc these whites don't care and all of this is because jai dared to call her a grifter which she is and make a joke about her girlfriend m gfm Something multiple people have said yet, yeah, Keffels felt the need to only respond to the black person, call her a tumor, and said she kicked those people out. Wow. So, I didn't see screenshots of the calling calling Jay a tumor and saying that she kicked those people out. So, keep, take that part with a grain of salt. Uh, that is not confirmed, but it's still pretty crazy. I did not see this type of backlash coming for Kevils. I mean, a lot of people have been behind her, especially people who would talk like this. And you know exactly what I mean when I say that, okay? People who phrase things like this, you know that they were they're pulling for Kevils. And a lot of people 
people were. And it, a lot of people made it like a trans versus like transphobic issue, which it never was with, uh, with her as a whole uh, in the whole like destiny thing, which God, seeing how much this thing developed as a whole is crazy. Absolutely crazy. It went from her just being a random person that got destiny panned off of Twitter for a little bit to her almost dying to her trying to take down some weird form that I've never heard of until she came along. So she strives and affected it. That's not a right phrase. Who really cares though? Now we've got some more interesting developments that tie into the whole story of Kevils at Kiwi Farms because a senator actually got swatted which it has to be unprecedented it has to be i mean given how new swatting is it just has to be. it's just odd considering how the person said they were connected with kiwi farm and stated that their name is autistic right which is just odd in and of itself right there's some interesting developments that Marjorie Taylor Greene put out. Now, if you, if you look at the tweet that she quote tweeted, she said in the second little pair passage, she says they explained they were upset about Miss Green's stance on transgender youth rights and stated they were trying to swat her. Now, if this was somebody named Autistic, right? And they announced that they were with Kiwi Farm and then they tried to swat somebody while trying to call out that they were attached to Kiwi Kiwi Farms and said that they were mad about trans issues while a transgender person is currently fighting against Kiwi Farm and facing a lot of transphobia admittedly from the platform. Do you think that it was somebody calling in trying to get a anti-trans person swatted that was also anti-trans or do you do you think that it's a little bit more likely that someone who was pro-trans decided hey I'm going to pretend like I'm with Kiwi Farms and I'm going to trick Mar Marjorie Taylor Taylor Green into thinking that I am a far leftist and I can't believe how much she hates trans issues to make her hate Kiwi Farms and get it into the mainstream. Makes a little bit more sense, which is really funny because whoever did this is trying to turn this uh, representative, she's not a senator. I don't know how I got that mixed up, but anyway, they turned this representative. Rep Why I say it like that? Jeez, I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. I don't know if you can tell, but they're trying to turn uh, M MGT here into a pawn, and it's clearly working. It's it's pretty funny. I I really don't know. Yeah, this woman clearly didn't do her research. <laughs> oh my goodness, I I did more research than the, this represent representative. I almost said representative again, but I did more research. Than this should worry you genuinely this should worry you whether you want kiwi farms down or not the fact that i was able to figure this out and she wasn't makes no sense i mean she's probably just rattled or something i i don't know she probably just heard the trans stance thing and was like oh i gotta run with this it's gonna look awesome all right let's get off politics because we spent way too much time on it as is god and if the whole thing with dreaded j wasn't hypocritical enough this is blatant 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 hypocrisy it just is okay so Kevils retweeted a quote tweet to the first tweet i read to you at the beginning of this video uh the quote tweet reads sure would be a shame if someone unmasked their real names no not their home address not their family's info not anything that could be used to threaten them so that their friends and co-workers might know what they do in their spare time now Kevils, someone unmasked your real name and then they kept going okay people aren't just gonna stop at names especially if they're angry enough to go find people's names I, it's just just so blatantly wrong for you to do also if friends and co-workers know about it there's a chance that they can lose their job which means they're gonna be threatened with the loss of their career and livelihood so clearly liz fong jones doesn't know what she's talking about here which isn't too surprising because it's twitter i want to end things off with this screenshot as you can see it's keffel celebrating the fact that kiwi farms is down once again and honestly i i just think this is wrong i think that the things that a lot of people are saying on there is wrong but to be like oh because people saying are saying these wrong things they have to go like do you want just everyone to all agree do you just want everyone to think the exact same way 
do you want to force people into thinking the way that you do again these people are saying some bad things that i don't agree with okay at all okay i, I want to make that 100 percent clear because a lot of times when i defend people's right to say whatever they want to say and you know moderation of course people really just think that i'm defending them as a people or, or as a person and i want to say no I'm not defending these people what they're saying is wrong that naming keffels is wrong but still they should be able to talk about these things now i always harken back to daryl davis he's a guy who was able to talk to multiple members of the kkk and get them to renounce their racism just by talking to them like normal people where so many other people would just scream at them and yell at them it just takes uh, like talking to these people and telling them hey it's disrespectful to call somebody by a name that they don't want to be called lucas isn't her name her name is clara call her clara or, or keffels it's simple as that i feel like that's really lost on a lot of people a lot of people don't get that it's just as simple as talking with somebody can sweat sway somebody and i know a lot of people are just bad people but a lot of people are just misguided or they're just saying edgy things just to be edgy but anyway i'm gonna end it off here this whole thing is pretty stupid i'll i'll see what keffels does next uh kiwi farms is probably done for i'm just be honest just seeing how hard in the paint keffels is going after the platform i i just don't see him being, being up very long especially as pr gets worse and worse for cloud fair and the more mainstream kiwi farms get the worse it's gonna be there's gonna be a kiwi farm substitute up in like two weeks so that'll be interesting to see her crusade against that but thank you all for watching bye